Hi! Welcome to the Nerd Effect Podcast, and uh, today we are here to introduce kind of a new show where you kind of have a concept on. Uh, we're just calling it Nerd Effect Tastings for now. But with the exquisite, like, pinky-up music and smoking jackets and fireplaces. You didn't tell me I was supposed to bring my smoking jacket. You have a smoking jacket? Why wouldn't I? <laughs> I almost brought my top hat. I thought we were going to be lab rats. Well, that too. Well, we're Fan- drinking Surge today, Nerd so we testing. are lab rats. Nerd Fan- effect testing. Fancy lab rats. <laughs> Classy lab rats. Tails up. Monocles, little, little canes. Tiny, yeah, little tiny around. canes that we spin around. Uh, <laughs> what do you want to do today, Brian? Um, Drink right. some Surge. Uh-huh. Yeah, 90s uh-huh. flashback today, boys and girls. Surge. Thanks, Nikki. Surge. You're welcome. It's because I love you guys. So can I tell the story about how this came into our possession? Uh, yes, please do. So, um... A while back on the internet, don't know if you guys saw, they brought back Surge. Uh, many of you like me were clearly very stoked about this because they sold out eight hours after they announced it because it was only available on Amazon. I cried very sad tears of nostalgia and regret. And then when they refilled their stock, bought a case, saved it because we were going to do this like two weeks ago. But drank it all myself because I'm a greedy, greedy bastard. <laughs> <laughs> and bought another case. <laughs> so, yay, sir. Yay. Because she had excuses. Because, yeah, I, I really mostly just wanted another case of surge in my house. So, Nikki's already got this down, down pat. So, she knows exactly what it tastes like. Uh, for us three, it's been, what, 20 years? It's been a long time. <laughs> I, I do not remember what this stuff tastes like yeah. at all. Unicorn tears mixed with Ninja Turtles ooze. Wow. Okay. I'm excited. Stirred so... up by a troll doll. <laughs> sprinkled <laughs> over some pop rocks and just drank in front of a warm fire while watching the X-Men cartoon show. All right. And so for joy. all... Joy. It tastes like joy. For all of you, uh, <laughs> you young hooligans, the reason this is so special to us... It's because back when we were like in junior high school, this shit was cheap. It's fourteen bucks a twelve pack. Now. And say like Amazon will tell you otherwise, but uh, this was they were soda price. They were actually a lot of places when Surge came out, like a regular soda. Like I remember, like in soda machines, like regular sodas were like fifty cents, but you can get Surge for a quarter because they were trying to promote it. Okay. It and you can out. get entire six packs for a dollar, which they was were also the, smaller cans. Well, yeah, twelve ounce cans. Which makes it more worth the fourteen dollars because I thought it was normal size cans when I bought it. So, but yeah, these are what eight? Ounce, these are pints, ounce cans? sixteen ounce. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. They're trying to you know be on par with like monsters. And, yeah. Like, so yeah. It actually has less that. caffeine than I remember, I remember it having, which was kind of a disappointment because I think I was just pretend hyper after drinking this. I feel like it was a lie because I'd be bouncing off the walls, but really it has less caffeine than like Mountain Dew. <coughs> yeah, so. for psychosomatic reactions. Yeah. But, Placebo effect. And its major selling point was the fact that it was cheap. Junior high kids could get their sugar fix, and they would literally, quite literally buy them by the case. like, And I mean like almost like a pallet worth. And then they would stack it in their locker like four feet high. And you'd have soda for as Weak. long as you could possibly I'd do handle. that in my kitchen if I wouldn't get murdered. <laughs> yeah. I don't see that going over well as an adult. Yeah, I can I see myself in that scenario yeah. buying cases where it's filling up our pantry and just having mm. Jen going, get out. <laughs> 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 we don't have an enclosed pantry, so it would just be a corner of the kitchen, just stacked ceiling high with surge and just be getting dirty looks every day. You just call it Art Deco? Yeah, no, it's, it's an art piece. It's fine. It's an art installation, yeah. It's an art installation. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, anybody else have any quick memories about surge that they want to get off? <laughs> That's what she <laughs> said. Hey. No, I used to. Okay, so I used to go to this camp, and it was a church camp, and it was up in. It was Camp Sawtooth. I don't remember where it was. My parents drove me. But we would always bring up, like, coolers of just shitty snack food. Like, red vines and just Rolos and Skittles as far as the eye could see. But they had these stupid little brown squirrel things because the cabins weren't finished. And they would get up through the floorboards and they would eat into your snack bag. So you had to bring a ha- one of those hard plastic coolers. Then eventually one year they figured out how to chew through those. So we Jeez. had to hang them from the rafters. So you've got this thing that's full of s- like cans of Surge and just crammed on top of that with snack food. So it was not lightweight and it's just dangling above your head. 
at night. It it's like a super safe junior high sort of Damocles. Yeah, it was great. Just um, waiting to go into a coma. Yeah, <laughs> totally worth it though. Like this stuff was currency. It was like cigarettes in prison. Like if you were the yes. kid with the surge, you were set. Yeah, it was like that. In junior high. You yeah. got cuts in the mess hall line. You're the one that got the best like perler bead selection during crafts time. Man, you were you were just living the good life. <laughs> Courtesy of Surge. Surge Pimp. Thanks, yeah. Coke. Surge Pimp, I like it. I did notice that it is Coca-Cola, the one who's actually putting it out on this. Yeah. I, I thought they had sold the rights to it, but... Okay, so... Uh, they took it out of most convenience stores. I believe it was late 90s. Yeah. And it lasted in some of them, I guess, until the early aughts. Is what I was reading. Like, 2004, I think, is when they stopped selling it officially. Uh, which is weird because it disappeared here. This is one of the first places it disappeared, I think. You pointed out to me that there was it was being sold in other countries under the name Urge or something like that. Or oh, it was like did. a knockoff drink. I don't think it was the same recipe necessarily. I think it was just uh, they stole the packaging. I was say, well, we could do some more research on that if we wanted, but there's actually like a lot of flavors that like Coke and Pepsi both make mm -hmm. that are sold around the world but not necessarily in America or in specific countries. Like Kit Kats in Japan. Yeah. Green tea Kit Kats with a shit. They had a uh, dark That's chocolate cool. chili ones. That what? sounds freaking awesome. I know. Where? I don't know but BuzzFeed put out a video we'll, of we'll like find, we'll of Americans time. try crazy Kit Kats and one of them was like a dark chocolate chili or something we'll like that. It. Dark chocolate chili sounds awesome. Yes, it does. But, so, they had, there was a petition floating around the internet to bring back Surge and Coke finally paid attention. Yeah. And we are here to reap the benefits. That means Pepsi, it's your turn. Uh, bring back the Josta. Oh, I was gonna say Crystal Pepsi, but... Oh, God. <laughs> Who was in, tra in charge of Jolt? Jolt. Jolt. Oh, really? Jolt's yeah, Jolt. Yeah, they were yeah. their own. Yeah. No, Jolt's still made. Is it really? Yeah, it's it's hard, hard to find, but it's still out. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Shall we jump in? Yes. Let's do this. I get it for the bartenders. And as you can see, Classic we spare, motherfucker. We spare no expense up in this We mostly wanted you guys to see the ridiculously green color, so I'm going to pull this up and not spill it. It's like nuclear urine. I told you. It it's like totally zoos. reminds me of radiator fluid. Yeah, it, <laughs> it is radiator fluid. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's not mm. secretly. It's radiator fluid with carbon dioxide put in it. Yeah, because radiator fluid's supposed to be sweet, right? That'd be funny if your car just, like, burped every once in a while. Burp! Did you do your car surge again? No. I really do not remember it being this, this green. Oh, no. I remember it being more green, actually. When I opened it, I was I, disappointed. I just thought it was like a Mountain Dew yellow, but this no. is like... Oh, no, it like is. You could hold a black light to this and it would do there, something. Buddy, if you want a pastor's back. What? I, yeah, a little more? Uh, yeah. I, we got way more than Mike did, and I feel a little guilty for it. So, it's good. The last of the bits. Well, that's not like we don't have three other cans here. That's true. Oh man, I can smell the sugar. I know. Oh god. Oh, sniff test? Yeah, sniff yeah, test? test? And pinkies out. Everyone, pinkies out. I think it smells like green Jolly Ranchers. Mmm. Yes. It's kind of an apple, mm -hmm. like a fake apple. It's supposed to be citrus flavor, but I think it smells like that fake Granny Smith apple. I don't know if it's the color like invoking the artificial this, but gray yeah. Apple flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. It's like they melted them down and added bubbles. Which is where, yeah, I'm not even getting, now that you say that, I'm not even getting a citrus smell out of it. Maybe a little bit of lemon. Yeah. Like a hair. It smells like 7-Up. So See, there's yeah. it's a generic citrus. Yeah, of not, not actual citrus, yeah. but that citrus syrup. It's not orange, it's not lemon, it's not lime. It's citrus, citrus. yeah. <laughs> cheers. So, cheers. Jung. Cheers. Long. Prost. And go. Sloncha. Only one that does that. Sips first, guys. Boom. These two chugging. I'm sipping. I'm being good. Pinky. Pinky up. Mike and I are classier than the two buggers. <laughs> <laughs> Plastic wine glasses, Nikki. <laughs> I'm wearing a bow tie. I, on your <laughs> challenge accepted. On my trucker hat. <laughs> your Darth Vader hoodie. <laughs> because I'm classy. Yeah. We've discussed this. <laughs> It's snowing. <laughs> it's snowing. <laughs> okay, I was crocheting a snowflake earlier, and I chucked oh, it at Mason's head and yelled it's snowing, and the look on his face was just traumatized and magnificent. So? So? Flavor description. Uh, sweet, oh my god, sweet as shit. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's I, like pure sugar. I don't remember 
any soda being this sweet. See, which is funny because I'm really sensitive to sugar, but I got hooked on this stuff really fast. I think it's perfect and magnificent, and it tastes like my childhood. That might be well, why. Well, that's probably yeah. why. Because I I've been able to resist soda for years, and then I ordered this, and like I can't afford a fourteen buck of every other week habit. Yeah, like, no. <laughs> that's not a thing that I can do. So, yeah, but yeah, sweet, um, sweeter than I remember it being. It's almost like like super concentrated Mountain Dew, like it's. But it's got lower caffeine in it. I think that might be why it comes across as so sweet, as you're not getting that caffeine taste too. Somebody yeah. who is a regular drinker of Mountain Dew. Oh yeah, no, my oh, yeah. yes. yeah. It, it's quite a bit smoother mm-hmm. than Mountain. Dew. It's I think it's that caffeine bite that you get. Yeah, well, yeah, this caffeine bite, but like Mountain Dew, it's well, not just like the carbonation, but it does have a little bit of a ting to it. Oh, a little sourness. Yeah, there's that carbonation bit, sourness. Where this is. Um, yeah, well, I don't get it. I mean, it's actually it's, pretty. It's a lot smoother than Mountain Dew, is what I'm getting. Mm-hmm. It is like the sweet well, okay, version not, of citrus. Isn't I would say good. down here, you know, not a significant blah blah blah. I it doesn't mention specifically vitamin C, whereas I know Mountain Dew doesn't list vitamin C as something you get from it, but it's fairly for a soda. It's fairly citric high acid for in the Mountain flavor. in vitamin C to get the mm-hmm. the bite for mm-hmm. the citrus. So it's citrus, but it's a smoother citrus, which yeah. pop is probably why it was so popular with younger kids. Yes. It's more of like an orange soda citrus than it is a Mountain Dew citrus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 56 grams of sugar in one shot in the whole can. I don't think you could even fit that many grams of sugar in that can. <laughs> no, you can. No, but I mean, like, it's got to be so concentrated. Like, Yeah. Because I'm picturing paper clips. Well, and I always, I always remember the little gram cubes in like high school. Oh, see, I'm picturing paper clips because they told us a paper clip was a gram. Yeah, normal paper clips are about a gram. So fifty, whatever paper clips. Yep. Good thing we split that four ways. Yeah, yeah. Um, and good thing I got another one for later. What? what? Bam. Boom. All right. Well, there we go. Surge. Thumbs up. We should read things. Oh. How many stars out of five? How many over-caffeinated children out of five? <laughs> <laughs> over-caffeinated oh. children is our metric? Okay. Yeah. Starting with Mike. Uh, five being this is the balls. one being that was a waste of my taste buds. Like if this were equal were, if this were equal in price to Mountain Dew. I mean, I'd, I'd go three. Maybe three and a half. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'd I'm drunk. not salted. It's I, fine. I'm drinking. It's totally fine. I've, I've done a lot of Monster and Mountain Dew. Okay, your <laughs> your taste buds are just fried. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I've done a job on my system. So. Mm-hmm. I think it was super sweet for me because I tend to if I if I do drink soda anymore, it's usually diet or like, like a zero calorie Coke Zero is like my poison, you know. So, but uh, uh, in so no real sugar, but lots of caffeine still. Yeah, and I, I'll give it, just because I, there are better sodas out there than Surge, but I'll give it a 4 out of 5 just for rekindling the old the old childhood. I'm, I'm a sucker for nostalgia, obviously. Sometimes you can return home, you guys. <laughs> if only in your taste buds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying through my tongue. <laughs> That's weird. That you is weird. probably get that looked at. Yeah. Do uh, I go to a dentist or a doctor? Both. Uh, doctor, technically, because that's a uh, soft tissue. Oh. Yeah. Oral surgeon. Since we're talking about using caffeinated kids as our little measuring icon, I'm picturing his daughter, that picture with the gingerbread house. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, can you find it's that? I will beautiful. crop it into a graphic we can use. <clears throat> I personally gave it four and a half out of five stars because nostalgia. What, what gives you the extra half off? Well, it is really sweet. I'm a coffee person. I don't even add sugar to my coffee, but this is delicious. Um, since I got skipped, evidently. Sorry. Um, I was I have three stars. I've I was never a huge fan of Surge because when Surge was around, I was very very solidly a Dr Pepper drinker. Um, that's what I moved on to after Surge. And. <laughs> um, yeah, so it was, I mean, like, I remember it. I, I just, I remember the cans, I remember the marketing. It was, you know, 
a 20 years ago or 15 years ago, whatever it was, thing. And just... I don't want to think about it, yeah. <laughs> you know, it was just kind of, <laughs> It was just one of those things that was around and there, and I knew about it. And I, I had a few, but it was never like, I must have Surge. It was, you know, if... if I, you know, if I went to a convenience store to buy a soda, I walked out with a liter of Dr. Pepper. Yeah. So, but yeah, it was, uh, yeah, I, I did not remember how sweet it was. That was, wow. That's probably why it was a uh, currency at church camp. Yeah. <laughs> Kids bouncing off the walls, literally, diving they, out the windows. Because they drink it and say, I can see Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> well, they did take us on a lot of hikes, so I feel like it probably is what kept us moving. Mm. Yeah. There is that, yeah. Yeah. Because evidently all your other food got eaten, so you're just running Those on caffeine. Those damn chipmunks, you Just guys. running on you caffeine understand. and hope. Yeah, <laughs> just caffeine and hope. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright, so shall we call it? Yeah, yeah, I think that's good for this one. I think that's an yeah. average of what, like four stars? It's about average. It's about four stars. Four stars. Four stars. Yeah. Four stars. Four stars. So. Four star average. Yeah. Four like being on the low end. Which... Going. Ah, yeah. Cool. Cool. Come on it. Think we're on being on the low end. God. I, well, no. I just. Why I, do you have to hate? Well, he here's the thing. Life. That's surprising to me, considering that he's a Mountain Dew connoisseur. Well, I, I see. It, well, was... I think that's part of it is that he is a Mountain Dew man, and this was kind of built to, to compete against the Dew. You feel like mm-hmm. you're cheating on your wife right now? Is that the deal? Mm, no, not really. But. <laughs> they have an open relationship. It's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, open can relationship. I pepper quite a bit. <laughs> Mike and Mountain Dew have an open relationship. An yeah. open bottle relationship. Oh, yes. let's see. What? Yeah. All right. All right. Well, for the Nerd Effect podcast, this has been Nerd Effect Tastings. Surge. Surge edition, yes. Mm, yes, um, quite. If you guys like the show, let us know. Uh, this will be up on the old YouTube, so feel free to comment down below somewhere. Yep. Um, and shall I subscribe? Yeah, I should subscribe. I don't remember where the button is, so that way, that this way, way up it. there, down somewhere. Somewhere. That, that way. way. Yeah, uh, somewhere. Wait, you guys Look ever around. Point you'll find it. It's in the doobly doo. That way. The doobly doo. The doobly doo. Yes. And you're down below. In your crotch. No, I'm pointing down below the video. So click Mason's crotch. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. See you guys next time. Bye. Hey. It's so <laughs> Children. <laughs>